that Wall Streeters are allowed to keep their current carried interest provision. It's a hell of a provision. In fact, I had it ended, and then I ended up getting so much more for it. I would have terminated it. We were all set to terminate. But we got many, many other things for it. They gave up everything to keep it. It's a ripoff. What happened to Manchin and Cinema? What happened? We're trying to figure out what the hell happened. Where did this new philosophy come from all of a sudden? 48 hours. I think if this deal passes, they will both lose their next election. I do believe that. West Virginia and Arizona will not stand for what they did to them. And that includes the races that are being run right now. They're not going to take it. And I told the old broken crow, Mitch McConnell, that this was going to happen. No, I said it. I said it loud and clear. He should have never approved that fake infrastructure deal. Never approved it. He approved that infrastructure deal for trillions of dollars, and 91 percent of it is Green New Deal nonsense. There's only 8 percent to 9 percent that's actually for infrastructure. But he said, if we approve this one, they will never come back and ask for more. I said, yes, they will. And guess what? They're voting on it now. So maybe this speech can stop him, because when Manchin hears me say he's going to lose West Virginia, and I'll go down and campaign against him as hard as anybody can. <laughs> and when cinema does that to Arizona, and I will tell you, we have a person that I believe is going to be the next governor. I don't think she's going to stand for it. I don't think she's going to stand for it. You know, it's interesting with Manchin. So I got along with him very well. He wanted to know Jerry West could get the Presidential Medal of Freedom. I said, Jerry West, great athlete. Could Bob Cousy get one, too? 